Hello everyone, welcome back to the E2 lesson 2. In this lesson, we are going to cover the basics of routing in E2. We are going to create our own custom action and our own view file to show to demonstrate this. Okay, let's get to work. So here, this is our directory. Uh, as you know, these are the controllers, the models, and the view files that we have. The view files have a layouts file and a site file. So the first page that gets loaded is this, the page that you see right here is the index file right here. So we can change something if you want. As you can see, it changes. So uh, the routing happens in the two ways. Uh, it first calls the site uh, if there is no controller defined let's go to another page let's see okay here is a controller the site is a controller and this contact the name contact is action okay so the site is the default controller in a BE basic application so let's go get into the site controller and check it out controllers and the site control see as here you can see E2 is using namespace which is very very good and it uses the filters access controllers controller and I think this addition is also really important this make gets you this makes you understand what are the things that are being used by this page right here okay so here is the site controller class and it's been extended by the controller C extends the controller class okay so here is the action index which renders the view file index right here okay so and here's the action login action login is right here it's it renders the login view file renders the login view file the login view file you can find it here is the login view file as you can see every view has its own action so what we are going to do right now is we are going to create our own action public function action say hello okay and we are going to return the this keyword refers to this controller and we will render a new view file called hello okay we are going to control s to save and we are going to create a view file new file save it as hello.php since we named it as hello okay so if this was something else the name has to be resemble something else okay so let's give it um, welcome it easy channel So to navigate to that file, we have to say site and hello. As you can see, it navigates to that file. Okay. So that covers an action and a view file. So it's pretty basic and simple. Uh, so what can we do next here? As of course, we can pass a value to the view file as well let's say, let's say test and the value of the test variable is I don't know John and we can pass it as we always did in the version 1 this way let's say name let's change this to name let's see it won't make sense dollar name Next, we'll access the variable uh, echo, and of course, we don't have to use this anymore. We can do this since the PHP five it's been upgraded. We can use this to in replace of this. We don't have to write echo uh, name. 
this uh, this is this is the exact same thing as this so save this and sorry about that my phone start ringing okay uh, hold on for a sec I got to answer that hello again sorry about that uh, okay so as you can see we can pass in variables as we want okay so that covers that so okay in the next lesson we'll we'll uh, we'll use uh, we'll uh, we'll look into models in the next lesson i will create another user form uh, something like this something like this a contact form and how to create our custom own model and how to create the contact form or another not a contact form actually some other form that for we can use okay for that we will be start learning the g tool as well so you will get an introduction to the g tool as well then okay then have a good day subscribe if you have it already and like share my videos thanks